Ebola, malaria, drought, malnutrition. These are just a few of the pressing issues facing people and societies around the globe. Many of these can spread rapidly and challenge us all. There are millions of scientists in the developing world that have the talent and education to face these issues head on before it's too late. Many face simple challenges. Seeding Labs is an organization founded to support scientists as they conduct life-changing research. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio. Seeding Labs founder Nina Dudnick is my guest. Nina, welcome to the program. Thank you, Jenny. Can you explain to us what Seeding Labs does? Seeding Labs invests in exceptional scientists in developing countries. They are working under conditions of limited resources, but they have limitless potential. We provide them with reduced cost lab equipment and training, and also foster professional networks among them with scientists around the world, so that they can build the infrastructure to not only train the next generation of researchers, but conduct pressing research on these issues that face not only their communities, but our entire world. So who are the scientists that you're working with? We are working with scientists in 22 countries and counting across the world, and they are among the most well-trained individuals in the world. Many of them have trained institutions everywhere in the world and gone home to address these problems. And we are building essentially a network of these well-trained, well-qualified, talented individuals highlighting their work and ensuring they have access to the resources to move it forward. So who are you partnering with to carry out this work? We're partnering directly with public universities at every level, with the administrators, faculty and staff, and also the students. And one great example is a university that we're working with now in northern Uganda. This is a region that faced terrible uh, civil war over many, many years and are rebuilding their entire infrastructure for education. So the equipment that we're providing to them is going to go towards training thousands of students, but also helping scientists move their research forward. In particular, one scientist who is working in a consortium with scientists here at Yale University and also in Kenya. And again, building that global network on important issues. So you're speaking a little bit about the international partnerships. So international partnerships and training are two focuses. Yeah. Providing equipment is a third. So how do you execute that piece? For that, we are working with a growing network of corporations, manufacturers, and research institutions here in the United States to source high quality equipment from their facilities that's not currently in use. And this allows them to operate more efficiently, more cost effectively, more environmentally, and allows us to provide this to scientists to tr move their training and their research forward. So funding is always a concern for nonprofits today. So how can people support Seeding Labs? We are looking for a growing community of individuals, corporations, and foundations to help us expand our instrumental access program and provide equipment to more and training to more scientists. This year we received a $3 million investment from the United States Agency for International Development to help us towards that goal. But we received in the last two years 147 applications from universities in 40 different countries. And so we're looking for a growing network of partners to help us donating equipment and financial support to reach more scientists, move this vital research forward, and address the problems that face us all eventually. Nina, you founded Seeding Labs in 2003. What made you want to create this company? I decided I wanted to be a scientist at the age of nine. Mm -hmm. And I had the opportunity to work in incredible labs from high school through college and graduate school. And the goal behind Seeding Labs is my hope to provide opportunities like that to talented scientists wherever they are in the world. Nina, thanks for being here and educating us a little bit about Seeding Labs today. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.